Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 16 of Learning Motion Control with PLC. You did get to see me again after all, but just for a wrap up here, we I just wanted to summarize a few things and give kind of a big picture. So if you stayed this long through the series, thanks for doing that. And I guess a couple things I wanted to touch on are, uh, again, to say thanks to Beckoff for, for loaning me this stuff, or you know my Beckoff app engineer that let me borrow his personal kind of test bench for a couple weeks to, to play with. Um, so thanks again for that. But also, you know, just to recap, we went through setting up this AX5000. There's a safety card that we didn't touch. So just know that that exists. That's a really cool feature that they have inside TwinSafe. Uh, we have the smaller slice here, the servo slice. We didn't and we didn't really mess with that too much because I didn't feel there was a whole lot to be gained uh, from firing that guy up and making him work. Uh, we did quite extensively use the uh, 7041. We used it open loop with... Uh, no home sensor, no encoder. Well, no encoder, no home sensor into there. We used an external one. So you could do either way. Um, otherwise, I, I thought it was pretty cool to actually get it on a real axis, scale it, do all that sort of stuff, and play with the joystick, play with the foot pedal and all that. So uh, if you found this video first, go back and check all that stuff out. But probably you already watched all those, so good job making it through. I'll put the code on GitHub uh, as usual. It'll be linked down in the bottom of the video. And otherwise... Um, I just wanted to, to point out that if you're installing a system and you're going to buy a bunch of this sort of hardware, keep in mind that you can lean pretty hard on your vendors to help you out. So I'm happy to answer questions. I'm happy to help out. I'd love to hear from you and all that. But like with my last PLC series, people started asking questions and I'll ask obscure stuff about old stepper slices on the K bus and things I've just never had exposure with. So. Uh, your best best to go through them, although I'll do my best to help out if you want to shoot me a message or a comment or something to that effect. So uh, anyway, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video series. I'm happy to be done with this one. And like I said in the last video, I may do some uh, playing around with ADS and .NET and things like that. But short of that, I don't think there's a whole lot left to do on a PLC video series uh, from me. So I've kind of moved on in my career a little bit. I still do some PLC work, and I'd be happy to continue doing that a little bit. But I'm not, you know, head down 40 hours a week doing that anymore. So I wanted to get this video series out while it was still sort of fresh in my mind. And um, if you're entering this career, then definitely enjoy yourself. It's been a lot of fun for me over the past few years. I've been to a lot of cool places, been inside a lot of really cool factories. And, um, yeah, so thanks also to my previous employer for how great they were. It was sad for me to have to leave them, but, you know, family life takes precedence. So, uh, here I am. If, uh, you need anything, then get in touch and, uh, I'll see you on the next set of videos, whatever I decide to do. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe and that way you'll make sure you see them. And if you click that little bell icon, it'll notify you and it gets a little annoying. So I don't blame you if you don't do that, but, uh, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.